Hello and welcome to Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures on a beautiful day here. In fact, it's probably a perfect day for me. The sun's not yet out, but it's nice and warm. There's a slight breeze. We've got some cloud cover, but it's not raining. So it's a quite a good day to do manual work, which I'm about to do. I'm about to tackle the compost bin. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's show. The reason I'm looking at the compost bin today is because I've had a, a question from a viewer who I met when I was out and about one day and they asked me, is it all right to put not only the lint out of the tumble dryer, if you have one, or, but also the waste out of your vacuum cleaner? Because doesn't it contain plastics? Well, that's a really, really interesting question because of course there's a lot of organic matter in these things. Um, but there are, of course, microplastics within them. Little fibres that you can't see. Now, um, there's two ways of thinking about this. Because they're so small, so micro, that is it a real big problem? Well, it depends on whether or not you mind putting a little bit into the soil. I'd not really thought about this question, funny enough, and I have been thinking long and hard, and this is why it took me a few weeks to come round to it. I have, I must admit, done a bit of research on this, and the general feeling is that it is okay to do so if you don't put it in in a big clump like this. This is quite a big wadge. And what you have to do is separate the fibres out and really separate them out and break them down as much as you can before you put them onto your compost heap because then that will give them a really good chance of actually breaking down because if there are plastics in here, they are so small that actually it won't really affect the ground that you put it in. Whereas if you put it in a big clump like this, you know, it, that's a huge amount in one fell swoop. So I say it's okay to put it in, but again, it's down to personal preference and choice. But you say, break it down into microfibers and put them in into it and then mix it within your compost. And I'm gonna to get to mine in a moment. Other things you can put in, obviously, we've got our eggshells and again, crush them up but make sure of course that they go into the oven first so that they're well cooked because you don't want the egg the raw egg attracting rodents and pests into your compost heap we don't want that at all that's not very good for anything especially attracting pests onto your allotments we don't want them i know a lot of people at the moment are having problems with badgers believe it or not there seems to be badgers either are very hungry or they've discovered a free source of food and a lot of people with allotments we're lucky around here we haven't got badgers uh, but they're creating havoc in some of the places so uh, i'm afraid it's wire netting and as deep down as you can get it as well maybe a foot maybe two foot deep into the ground because they're very good at digging under if you put a netting on the surface then you know chicken wire get it deep down so they can't get through into your patch hard work again but it will stop the badgers and the rabbits and all those little pests that like to come and eat all our carrots and our vegetables it might keep them away from your plot now another good thing to put onto your compost heap is coffee grounds now these are, i've had well i took them on on my road show with me when i went and uh, they've gone a bit green but that doesn't matter and again chop them up and just put them straight onto your compost heap like that. obviously then you can wash out your plastics and put those into the recycle bin that's absolutely brilliant so there's lots of things to do in this area so we'll get rid of those as i say you can put lots of organic matter in you can actually put cooked food so you can put potatoes into your compost bin believe it or not but they don't want to have additives in so if you've just got a good old potato mash it up obviously don't put them anything in it and pop it on the compost heap. we don't really like fatty things because again attracting rodents now I'm scared to open this because this has been, I couldn't find it for ages, I've just found it actually. I've popped it on a shelf that I'd forgotten about actually and it's, this has been there for weeks now but it's probably lovely and melted inside here. Oh it has, lovely. In here, tea bags, I've got bits and bobs of stuff and uh, well coffee ground, it's going really well actually but again it needs a help out because it's all decided to turn into really good quality compost actually. So I'll pop that on there as well. So there's tea bags, coffee grounds. Uh, carrots anything i've put as well on here uh, the leaves off of my uh, beetroots and also of my purple uh, sprouts and uh, well <laughs> look what i found there a lovely little um well snail 
have enjoying the broken down stuff i've also got on here as well uh, my old tomato vines that i've had to cut off these were growing but they're not out of the middle of the side shoots they're a bit like this little one here and uh, in fact there's one there look growing as well and it was just broken off so i've taken that one off again don't put them on as big as this you need to break them down if you can really enjoy just breaking them down i need to go through this before i turn them over because the smaller they are the easier they are to compost you don't need a massive big thing like i've got here you can just have a little bin like this and you can put your stuff in like i've just done and, and the moisture will do its work so really anything organic can go onto your compost bin i think it is safe because there's such small amounts to put the matter from your hoovers and of course your uh, tumble dryers i think you'd be fine separate them put them on but again it is down to you so the humble lovely compost heap i now need to get manually working and turn it all over do you know i love this uh time in the growing season because my tomatoes are now starting to go red i've got a couple on this bush here and a couple on behind and once in a couple of days time they're ready to pick if you, as soon as you pick them the others will start to turn as well so as soon as you see any turning and they're ready pick them because um, it really encourages the plant then to develop the others into red tomatoes exciting these are being fed now um, all the time because i think they need just some extra nutrition uh, from the water ground and the water ground is doing really well for me in here however let's go across to wakefield and another success story to janet and janet has over the years been a really good contributor uh, to this show and we thank you for that janet and you've sent me a photograph of your cucumber and this was it when you came back off your holidays and look at it now you've picked it janet and as you say it's as good as those you buy from the supermarkets in fact janet i reckon it's a thousand times better than any of those because you'll have flavor to yours and it'll be fresh absolutely wonderful and funny enough about cucumbers the excess ones we have here we now give them to our rabbit it absolutely loves cucumbers and they can eat the leaves and they can have the flowers too here i'm next to my other composting bin and this is uh, well not only a composting bin it actually producers should do anyway um, lovely juice at the bottom i've never had any yet but we'll keep trying and uh, i need some more worms probably but they're doing a fantastic job in here um, i keep putting little bits in but not too much so the eggshells i think are going i'll start using it more because the worms in here are really converting everything i put in into really good compost it's absolutely fantastic it's got lots of organic matter in here and they're really having a good go and turn it over and uh, by this time next year or even into the spring this will be absolutely delicious it could go on now actually it smells as it should really sweet and uh, that makes really good compost so don't forget with your compost you can put anything onto it so you've got your newspapers articles uh, not your magazines because they're too shiny they've got lots of inks on but your black inks you know onto your newspapers they're fine and uh, anything organic as i say can go into here not meats not dog food not dog waste or cat waste we don't want any of that because obviously that has maybe animal products in it but if you've got rabbits or guinea pigs uh, you can use their waste in here uh, because it's fantastic stuff and already decomposing brilliant for later on your plants next season well here i have some raspberry bushes and these are just long and lanky i don't know what's going on with those this is a lovely little raspberry bush although it does look like more like a grapevine with the leaves so i may have lost the label for that but then it was only 50p at the garden centre so i've rescued something <laughs> maybe it's not raspberry it'll we'll find out when we get some fruits on it this however is a raspberry bush and uh, well, it's almost as tall as me but this one is planted at the edge of my compost bin so it's obviously getting lots and lots of nutrients from the soil which is a very good thing the ones in the background as i say are very long and lanky but they aren't producing fruit so i need to look at that for next season and see where we go with these my golden raspberry bush frightens me to death every time i come down the allotment it is producing fruits but the leaves look as though the plant's dying but then if it's golden maybe the leaves are golden they aren't green like this they set off like this and then turn like a nice yellow as though there's no water there but they, they get watered they get fed and so i just need to hold back on that i think and uh, well fingers crossed 
we'll get some nice fruits. So, once again, thanks very much for watching Jerry Miz Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. Janet, thank you for your input in today's show. Your cucumber is amazing, and I'm sure now you've picked one, you'll get lots more. Because the thing is, if you get your fruits and they're ripe, pick them, because it will encourage the plants to produce more and to ripen the ones you've got. So, it's been great having you on board today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time here on Jerry Miz Yorkshire. Hello, people are often asking, do things ever go wrong while filming? Uh, yes, as you can tell, yesterday the batteries ran out on the microphones. And so, at the end of the show, I was about to say, once again, thank you very much for watching Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. Keep your comments coming in and keep your photographs coming too. Really enjoying seeing what everybody's doing. As I said, a big thank you to Janet, and I'll see you all here next time on Jeremy's Yorkshire Allotment Adventures. And fingers crossed, the batteries are still okay. Ta-da for now.